Welcome to this remote control quick tip. In this quick tip, I want to very quickly show you this thing here. Now this is actually a fold-out landing pad that I use quite a lot, particularly at this time of year, because a lot of the flying fields and places that we're going to has much longer grass. And a lot of the quadcopters that we're flying at the moment tend to have props that are a lot lower down. And unless the props are clear, then you don't get a nice easy takeoff or a nice easy landing. Now the way this works is that it actually unfolds and becomes absolutely huge. And uh, what I wanted to do was very quickly show you how I've made this thing because it's coming in very useful and a couple of my flying friends actually said, oh, you should probably make a video about that. So this one is gonna be a bit arts and craftsy. So we're going to need a couple of things in order to make that. I used a piece of foam board. Now, foam board is cheap and cheerful. Uh, if you get, if you're in the US and you go to the dollar store, you can get a piece for a book. In the UK, it's a little bit more expensive, but you tend to find that you'll always end up with one piece that's a little bit dog-eared and a little bit dinged up. And in fact, this one absolutely was like that. You can probably see even through the tape how damaged it was. So I couldn't use it to make anything with, but it was perfect for this. So what you're going to need is a piece that's going to be easily big enough to put your quad on. So something the size of a cutting mat will be ideal. We'll just use this baby piece as the example to show you how I did it. So of course, besides that, you're going to need some kind of tape. I uh, use this kind of warning tape that tends to get put over cables on the floor or on the edges of things that you might knock your head on. Uh, the reason is it, it becomes very visible in the grass. In fact, in some videos that I've done recently, you can actually see the edge of the takeoff mat in the FPV camera. And that also provides some protection for this thing. If you're putting it down on wet grass that the moisture doesn't get soaked into the paper, you're going to need a steel edge ruler and you're definitely going to need a steel edge one because you're going to be cutting it with something like a craft knife. I use our friend the Exacto, and it's great. Now to actually put the thing together is dead easy. All you're going to do is you're going to make a vertical cut down the piece and then a horizontal cut on the other side. Not all the way through you're going to make what feels like two hinges. Now there are two ways we can do it. We can either cover it in this stuff first or we can do it afterwards. I tend to like to do it afterwards only because that way then uh, the hinges are nice and clean. So if you kind of square up the piece on your board cut through the foam board, not all the way through, just score it and then crack it open. There's one cut, we need to turn it over really and then we're going to do the other side so it will fold up. Again, we're scoring it, we're not cutting it all the way through. We're going to break it like that. Make sure that one of them is free and what you end up with is something that folds up that has a number of hinges. So now what you can do is you can unfold it and pop it down on the floor. Now at this point that's when I would tend to completely cover it in tape and then use something like a couple of tent pegs or something else to actually peg it in the corners if it's a particularly windy day because this thing will fly around and by using something like this it folds up nice and small in the bag so it means that you can carry it around to the field with all your other equipment and then it provides a nice easy platform for you to take off and land on without getting your props all fouled with long grass. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless 360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.